is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, beginning at verse 4. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come. This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 51. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Verse 52, for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. 53, verse 53, the father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to call Loyum La Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Harachakotus Fukatam, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will be and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, and risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Salakia. Shalom to the Aqua, the Akim out there listening and learning. Laura willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners that are abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations. I'm subscribing to this truth to you. I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And basically, um, I want to do a quick video on the article I have seen. Um, today is the 22nd. Um, you know, yesterday was the 21st the inauguration, I believe. Uh, God, because, um, yeah, I had to pay a fine. <laughs> Goddamn devils. Anyhow, um, yeah, so today is the 22nd. Yesterday was the 21st. Yesterday was the inauguration of um, JB, you know. And, uh, you know, now you really about to be that's to be like i said i like to say this is gonna be the beginning of sorrows with this damn red hebrew edomite <laughs> that's showing you he wicked because like i said i just did a video on it his one of his appointments you know first day in office uh, you know as a transgender you know taking office you know like i said it's funny because they call us conspiracy um, theorists and crazy and nuts and all this but you know you can clearly see this is a man but yet and still they up there acting as if this is as a woman you know Shit is hilarious. Um, anyhow, this is, um, it doesn't even say what public, I think it's NBC, Universal. It says, 12 National Guard members removed from inauguration due to two for inappropriate posts. The FBI is working to vet out 25,000 National Guard troops in D.C. amid growing security concerns of an inside attack following the deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol. So it was the Washington staff, NBC, Washington staff, and Associated Press, stated January 19th. So that was Monday. It says about a, do a dozen National Guard members sent to D.C. to protect the inauguration are being relieved of, the, of that duty. Federal officials have been vetting thousands of National Guard members over fears of an inside, insider attack. News force Mark Seagraves has the latest details on those background checks. Pentagon officials say 12 Army National Guard members have been removed from security, securing President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration after vetting by the FBI, including two who posted in the text extremist views about Wednesday's events. And that's why I wanted to bring this up, because this is a country divided. You know what I mean? You got people that serve in this country, but have actually different views and viewpoints. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's the beautiful part about this is, like I said, not only is... The Most High, you know, waking, you know, up the lost sheep of Israel, you know, uh, waking us up to our law, statutes, commandments, and our heritage. But he's also rousing up these Edomites. So, therefore, when this kingdom falls, it's going to be by the hands of the same people that it was whose kingdom it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, this nation is completely divided. For people that's fighting for the country, actually opposed to the ideas of where the country should be. You know, to the point that they had to exclude them and take them off of, you know, um, you know, um, as far as um, 
you know, inauguration duty or whatever as far as protecting the president or J JB, you know. So um, it says there was no specific threat to Biden, but remember they were saying that basically on an inauguration day that um, it would could have been 50 um, armed protests at each capital. You know, and even when Trump was leaving office, Trump made a statement. He said, what I have done is going to um, affect this country or it, it will live on, you know, basically <laughs> because he he, he he planted a seed in these people's minds. You know, and the brother, um, I believe it was the brother Itazawan from Minnevala. It was one of the brothers, either him or the brother Bakar Moff. Uh, basically, he was saying how people haven't gotten it yet, but what they're doing is, you know, because it's not really... Uh, two separate parties it's two parties that actually are playing like you know it's it's it's, 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 it's like the um it's it's like kind of a sleight of hand trick because they're giving you basically both of these parties pass agendas that benefit this place you know the benefit the elite you know like the brother um Tazapa from houston said he said at the end of the day this man coming into office first day already signing um uh, executive orders and whatnot so you know, how is it, what orders are he really passing? It's the orders that were already put in place before he became office. Because, like I said, the president is just a position. You know what I mean? It's just, a, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, the president isn't really a ruler. They showed you that when um, Trump was literally making the statements about, uh, you know, the bankers behind the scenes and, you know, whatnot. And who was that? Uh, one of those Rothschilds. I think it David uh, Rothschild made the statement talking to shut the fuck up on Twitter or something, and Trump shut the fuck up. And you know, Trump has a, a little mouth. You know, that's one thing about that devil. He doesn't really filter his mouth or his words. And he literally didn't respond back to that. So that's just showing you who really truly has the power. It says two U.S. officials told the Associated Press that all 12 were found to have ties to right-wing militia groups or posted extremist views online. Officials, a senior intelligence official and an army official briefed on the matter, did not say which fringe group that the Guard members belonged to or what unit they served in. The officials were not authorized to speak publicly and spoke to the AP on conditions of anonymity. General Daniel Hokanson, chief of the National Guard confirmed Tuesday that the Guard members had been removed and sent home, but said only two were for inappropriate comments or texts related to the inauguration. <laughs> so, like I said again, that's just showing you division. And that's also spiritual showing you that this this place is going to tear itself up from within. It's the same people that this, the same people who's great, well, this place has never been great, but it was great in their minds when they could do what they want. You know what I mean? When, when Jake had to put his head in the fucking barrel because he couldn't smile out loud or laugh out loud. You know what I mean? When he had to drink out of a separate fucking uh, water fountain. And that's spiritual because not all the water tainted. You know what I mean? You, you'd be a fucking fool to drink out of these water faucets. And brothers be like, well, everything tainted and you should eat your, your bread to file. But shit, though, if you ever dealt with any kind of piping, you know, anybody these like plumbers and pipefitters, they don't drink out of faucets. Yeah, you got to take a shower, but still, if... You realize the process of what they go through to literally, like, purify water. <laughs> and if you think that's foul, just imagine the water that ain't being treated at all. And you got different cities that treat the water totally different. Look at that. Look at Michigan, for example. Look what the fuck they did to the water. <laughs> you know, I was going to do a video on that. They literally was about to sue people and, and prosecute people because you had senators behind. And, you know, it's just so deep. This place is just waxing worse and worse. It says uh, the other 10 were for other potential issues that may involve pre previous criminal activity, but not directly related to the inaugural event. So that's the point. Um, if you want to read more. You know, uh, the article is uh, in NBC Universal. But the point was, you know, man, like basically some of these, you know, people that were like, uh, what's the word? Uh, National Guard members actually had opposing views and actually belonged to militias. So, like I said, that's the vision. I got a, more, a couple of scriptures and I'm in the lesson. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse 2. It says, uh, 
I'm going to start at verse 1. Isaiah 19 and 1, the burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall ride up upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Verse 2, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And who is the modern-day Egyptian? The modern-day Egyptian is this red Hebrew Edomite, Esau Edom, you know. <laughs> the red Hebrew Edomite, the, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek to the idols, which this red Hebrew Edomite, you know, worships the left hand. He, he, he you know, um, he, he's worshiping these ancient spirits. When you go back to Greece and Rome, you know, that was a pantheon of deities that still worships to this day, you know. Then you really go into the, the meat of the matter, you know what I mean? You know, like, you'll be finding out that literally throughout these all these, you know, empires, it was a pantheon of spirits or, or gods that these people worshipped. And those spirits are still being worshipped today. Maybe under different names, but, you know, that's why when you go into, like I said, Greece, you had a god like Mercury. And then, uh, well, well, Mercury, I, I believe, was the Roman god. And then um, I think in Greece it was Hermes, you know what I mean? But the point is, it's a pantheon. And Egypt had the same thing, you know. Uh, like I said, when you go into uh, Thoth and Seth and all, you know what I mean? Like, But not to digress, you know. Jump into um, chapter, um, jump into verse 14, Isaiah 19 and 14. The Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggering in his vomit. And you seeing that, you know, this place staggering now, you know what I mean? They already talking about this man, talking about um, passing another stimulus, you know, another $2 trillion stimulus when you just passed $2 trillion, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, all that's going to do is cause hyperinflation. Um, I got one more scripture. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse uh, 16. For there shall be sedition among men, evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions to stand in their power. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And a man shall have, verse 19, and a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. And basically, all that's going into, I mean, that's going into, you know, um, when people are going to be breaking into each other's homes to try and feed theirs, themselves and, and, and their loved ones, you know what I mean? But basically, sedition is an uprising. You know, when you go into Second Ezra chapter 9, it talks about uprisings. When I brought out Matthew 24, it talks about wars and rumors of wars and, and, and a nation fighting against nation. So, you know, so with that, I'm going to end the lesson. The Lord willingly was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to call her law. Yom la Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who will. Peace and salutation to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwa, and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly was an edifying video, and shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, and the land of the other nations appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, we say shalom. Until next time, Lord willingly, shalom, shalom, and my wife, Boy, shall I want?